We begin with an update on Hurricane Ian. It made landfall a little after two this afternoon as a category four storm, bringing with it damaging winds and just inundating southwest Florida with heavy rains. And here's a live look at Florida right now. This is the Sunshine Skyway over Tampa Bay, and as you can see, the water is high and the winds are whipping like crazy. Marielle Ruiz is here right now, and she's been tracking Ian the whole way. Marielle? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, just looking at that, it just makes my stomach turn because this is not the worst of it. This is uh, up near Tampa. The worst of it is just south of there, closer towards Fort Myers, closer to where it did make landfall. Right. That's where we are seeing the most intense storms. And it's technically weakened, but it's still considered an extremely strong storm, a right. major hurricane. So I want to get you the latest here. This is a look at the eye wall, and you can see it. You can see the eye, just how perfectly round that is. That's indicative of a very strong storm, and it made landfall just after two near Cayo Costa, Florida. Category four with max sustained winds near 150 miles per hour. The latest update though does have it weakening just a bit. So this is one of the strongest hurricanes to hit the continental US since Ida in 2021. And it's the strongest hurricane to hit Florida since Michael in 2018. Latest update here actually just came down a minute ago and it now has max sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. So yeah, technically it has weakened, but when gusts close to 180 miles per hour, this can be found close to the center of the eye. This is right along the eye wall. This is now moving to the north and east at about eight miles per hour, still on the slower side, and that's what's causing some of the major flood concerns. It's not just freshwater flooding, mean, meaning uh, the rain coming down, but also saltwater flooding. That's the surge. It's getting pushed inland. The center of circulation still technically 35 miles southwest of, Pun of Punta Gorda, which really is where we've seen some of the strongest wind gusts of 120, 123 miles per hour as of the recent update. And this is still a massive, massive storm that really is taking up a big, big portion of the state. Now, the storm search, that's some of the highest risk that we are looking at. This is where we're seeing some of the biggest concern. This is water that gets pushed inland. 12 to 16 feet, not completely rolled out there, really close to Fort Myers as it continues to make its way inland. What we're looking at now is not just the storm surge, but also when we look at inland, you see these outer bands here. That's where we could see now some severe storms out of that, meaning there also is a threat for tornadic activity. That's where tornado watch is in place now. Now this will continue to weaken and move to the north. This is the latest update, by the way, it just came down about two minutes ago. Weakening still is a category one status as it moves into the middle of Florida. This is still a huge storm. So I'm going to actually talk you through what the impacts here are locally, because believe it or not, we are seeing some. That's coming up, Matt, in just a few moments. All right, thank you so much, Marielle. Let's get over to Ariel Placencia. She is in our newsroom right now. Ariel, you've been tracking the impacts of this storm for us this afternoon. The damage expected to be severe. What are you seeing right now? Well, Matt, let's start with the flight situation first. So come over here and follow me. A lot of those airports on the west side, even some of them inland, completely shut down. So no flights in or out. And that is because... Take a look live look over here at our earth cams. This is exactly what's happening. We've been talking about it all afternoon and we're going to start with Hillsborough Beach from the lighthouse cam. We're just north of Miami and look at the trees on the left side of your screen just whipping wildly over there. The winds really strong at this hour. Marielle was just talking about it now to Port Charlotte. We're just north of Fort Myers on the Gulf side. Now it's hard to see anything. This camera actually just froze within the last five minutes and that's because the winds are just whipping so hard the rain coming down. So I'm actually impressed that, uh, that it lasted as long as it did and then let's head over to Naples. Look at this water crashing over on the pier right here. Now, yesterday when we showed you this, a lot of people were walking on that pier to check out the situation. Very thankful that nobody is out there today. Just amazing to see how powerful that water is. No traffic on the pier and thankfully no traffic on the roadways either. This is I-75 in Florida. You won't see any cars out on the road. That's good news because remember there are a handful of counties that under a mandatory evacuation. You'll see them here in red, especially on the Gulf side of Florida here. 